You've seen how the mean is one way of finding the measure of central tendency for a data set. In this video, you'll learn another measure of the center, the median. Let's start with an example. The test scores for a class are shown in the table below. Find the median score and compare it to the mean score. This table shows the scores and we're asked to find the median score. What is a median? The median is the middle term in the data set. Here is how to find the median. First, organize the data in order from left to right. Here you see all the test scores arranged from least to greatest. The next step is to find the middle term. The middle term is the median. Since there are 15 data items, the median is the eighth term. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This term, 76, is the median. Now let's find the mean. This is the formula for finding the mean. We add up the test scores and divide by the number of test scores as shown here. In the numerator are the 15 test scores, the denominator is 15, which represents the total number of scores. The sum of the test scores is 1164, divided by 15, the mean score is 77.6. Compared to the median, the two measures of central tendency are very close. With some data sets, the mean and median are identical but you can see why these are called the measures of central tendency because they capture the behavior of the middle part of the data. Let's look at another example. The heights in inches of a group of basketball players is shown in the table below. Compare the median height to the mean height. To find the median, first organize the data in order from left to right. Here are the 20 data items in order. The middle term is the median. Since there are 20 items, the median is between the 10th and 11th terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here are the 10th and 11th terms. They happen to be the same value, so the median is 76. If they had been different values, the median would have been the value between the 10th and 11th terms. Now let's find the mean. This is the formula for finding the mean. We add up the heights and divide by the number of items as shown here. In the numerator are the 20 height measures. The denominator is 20, which represents the total number of height measurements. The sum of the heights is 1540 divided by 20 the mean height is 77. Compared to the median, the two measures of central tendency are very close. The median and the mean are often close together, but not always. Let's look at a final example. At a family gathering, the ages of the attendees are captured in the table. Compare the median and the mean age. Looking at the data, you can see the ages vary from one-year-olds to people in their 60s. Let's start by finding the median. First, organize the data in order from left to right. Here you see all the ages arranged from least to greatest. The next step is to find the middle term. The middle term is the median. Since there are 25 data items, the median is the 13th term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The median age is 10. Now let's compare it to the mean age. The sum of the ages is 655. Divided by 25, the mean age is 26.2. Here you see that the mean and the median are not close at all. Part of the reason is that there are a lot of extremes in the data, a lot of very young people and a lot of older people. 
Which statistic would you use as the measure of central tendency for this group, the mean or the median?